Mystical Love and Light here. I'm going to show you a video for when you need to be up uplifted. You need to uplift your spirit. Uh, you need to be joyful, to be happy. So this powder would be a joyful and happiness powder. Okay? Um, all you need is four ingredients and one of the ingredients is catnip. I'm just gonna use a pinch since uh, I'm not using it for me. I'm just showing you how to uh, make it. So that was the catnip. And you are going to Concentrate on the item. You are going to feel what the item has to offer. You're going to energize this catnip. You can just feel the energy in your fingertips. You are going to add St. John's wort. Lavender. And margarian. Uh, hold my tag. This these sticky tag is coming off. I need to put a piece of tape on it. Now what I've been doing is putting my energy into each individual item. Now what I will do is use the mortal pestle and work them off together. As I am doing that, I am empowering all of the herbs. I'm visualizing the outcome, visualizing how I'm going to use it, visualizing what it will do for me. Every time you do a working, a powder, an herb, an incense, <coughs> excuse me, whenever you are doing anything, always think ahead of time just when you are even getting your items together as you are pulling your items off and putting them together your working has already started from the time you start thinking of that very first item you're going to use for a specific reason a specific cause You've started that working. Don't ever doubt your workings when you're doing them. Don't ever doubt your powders, your oils. If you do, why are you even wasting your time? Alrighty, sorry about that. I had to restart the video because my husband called. So, 
like I say, don't ever doubt what you're doing. Because once you start it, that's when it starts working. If you start doubting it, you've just taken away from it. So don't even bother making it. You're just wasting product if you're going to start doubting your stuff. See what it looks like there. Just it like this. Oh, by the way, this is another spoon that my husband had made me. See this one with the crystal on the end also? <laughs> he carved out Salem Witch. Do I have it upside down? I don't even know. So anyway, how you're going to use this is like when you're feeling that your body, your soul, your mind, your spirit needs to be uplifted. That's when you are going to use this to lift your spirits. What you want to do is you need to make enough that you have a place um, in the floor, not with carpet or anything, but just in the floor where you can sweep it up afterwards. Um, make enough to where you can uh, sprinkle a circle. Just sit down in the middle. If you can't sit on the floor, just put a chair and sit in the chair. You can just sprinkle it around the chair. You don't have to have a real thick sprinkle, just real uh, thin sprinkle. You're going to sit in the middle of this uh, joyful and happiness powder and you are going to feel the herbs uplifting you. You're going to feel um, and like um, if you're feeling down, you want to feel how it's going to make you happy, joyful. It's going to uplift your soul. It's going to uplift your spirit. And you sit there and you visualize these herbs as if it were just kind of going in and just covering your body. You're visualizing this. You're visualizing how you have made this powder with the intentions of up, 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 blah, 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 up, up, lifting your spirits. That's a mouthful, okay? And thank you for watching, and have a great day. And again, what it looks like, just make you enough for your circle. It don't have to be a thick circle. Just enough to sprinkle around. You can sit on the floor or you can sit in the chair. Just uh, insert, make a circle so you can feel it all being absorbed into your body. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.